So this is going to be unit testing. Okay, this is 70.py. First, what I have done here, I have created a class called bike. Okay, this is oops. So where I go, I go to bike.py here. You can see that somewhere it should be bike.py. Uh, can you are you seeing anywhere bike.py in this? From 16. So in the 16, you have the bike class. This is related to object-oriented programming in the Python. Okay, I'm defining a class here, class bike. Then what I'm doing, I'm defining a constructor. Def underscore underscore init underscore underscore is called as a constructor. Okay, and you have a very first parameter as self followed by model, brand, and cost. Whenever we talk about bike, so bike has a model, bike has a brand, bike has a cost. So this is called as here constructor. We can call this as a constructor. This is a constructor. Okay. Then here what I'm doing, I'm converting this into string here. This is underscore, underscore, str, underscore, underscore, self. So this self meaning is what here? This is an instance method. It is not a static okay. method. This is an instance method. Yes, Pratish. Okay. Okay, five minutes then left out. So I'm a friend. So book okay. related Baba the Adut no doubt. Okay. Okay. No problem. So, so I know that. Yes, yes. <coughs> this is exactly what this is a constructor. Uh, Sanjana, I think you know about constructor. What is constructor? You know well, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. In sir. the Java, you have a constructor. So in the same manner, yes. we have constructor here. And you have two types of methods. One is what static method, other one static. is instance method. Instance, so this yes. is the instance method. All the instances methods have actually like very first parameter is self. Self. Okay. Self is a very yes. first parameter. Model, brand, and cost are going to be other parameters here. Okay. okay. So this is str is nothing but two string method in the Java. Have you seen two string method? Two string method. Uh, there is a two string method. In the same manner, underscore, underscore, str, underscore, underscore is called like a method which is available with all the uh, objects here. So you are overriding in this case. In this case, what happens here? It's going to print model name, brand name, and cost. Then you have your version. So version is going to be, this is an instance method or static uh, static method, not instance method. This is a static method, def version. Without creating object, you can use it. Every instance method has actually very first parameter is self for that. Self, yes. Okay, then here you have a underscore, underscore I have used everywhere. If you see underscore, underscore model equal to model I have written, when you have two times underscore before the name, this is called a private variable. Private variable, yes, sir. So you have private and public variables. Private public. variables you cannot access with the dot prompt. Yes, okay. sir. Whereas public variables you can access using dot prompt. So this model yes. underscore underscore model is private variable. Underscore underscore brand is private variable. Underscore underscore cost is also going to be private variable. So I'm adding here those fields into the object here. Okay. Similarly, I have here underscore underscore get model. This is nothing but a getter method. This is called yes, as getter. Sir. Okay, this is called as a getter yes. method. Mm -hmm. Similarly, we have here setters also. Underscore, underscore, uh, set brand. Underscore, underscore, set cost. Underscore, underscore, uh, here set model. So you can actually here assign the models in this case. You can assign a model. Similarly, you can uh, return a model in that case. Whereas get tax yes. is going to be here. You have a get tax method. Get tax is going to be, this is a uh, public method. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be returning a value. Self, that means what? It's going to return 0 0.05 multiplied with self dot underscore underscore cost. Like this, we can actually return a value here. Okay, so this is what exactly all these are private. But when you come here, this is called a property method. It is a property method. Property method means what? Just like normal property you can use. But this is a method. Underscore underscore get model is private method and underscore underscore set model also a method. Also method. So when you take here model equal to you are assigning this get model and set model. Similarly, in the case of brand also get brand set brand. In the case of cost also you have here get cost and set cost. Like this you are assigning here these uh, I mean uh, property methods here. So these are nothing but property methods we are assigning to this property in this case model brand and cost. So setter and getter everything is having a setter as well as getter here. So get model is getter, set model is nothing but here, setting a value. Okay, so these three are nothing but property methods. We can call them as property methods. Okay, now I'm going to test these things with a unit testing. Do you know what is unit testing? Yeah, testing. Uh, a developer who does testing is called as unit testing. 
Okay. Yeah, small of body tested. Yes. Now I go to the 17th dot py. In this, first of all, I'm importing bike into this. So how do you import oh. from the local? It is actually the 16. A class is available for us. Bike named class is available. That class we are going to import here. <coughs> In the 17 dot py, we are importing the bike. Okay. From 16, importing bike. Uh, okay. We are importing from 16 the bike class. Then here you have a yeah, import unit test. Then class test to get tax of bike. So what I'm doing in this case, I'm trying to get the tax of the bike in this case. Class test get tax of bike, unit test dot test case. So we are, this is nothing but test case. This is totally test suit, you can say. This is called as a test suit. Then what I do in this case, I'm writing here. This is nothing but test case. Okay, def run test self it is. Run test self. Here I am importing the unit test. Unit test framework I am importing in this case. So followed by in this case bike equal to bike RX three hundred Yamaha fifty thousand. Then here self assert equal bike dot get tax followed by twenty five hundred incorrect tax. So first of all I am calculating manually when I mean point zero five percent. If you take it's going to be twenty five hundred for five fifty thousand rupees. So like this I am calculating. This should be giving same value like two thousand five hundred. In that case, it is uh, the case actually test case succeeds, otherwise test case fails. Okay. Okay. Then calculate bike tax suit unit test dot test loader. I'm loading here test. I mean uh, uh, test loader. We are loading in this case. So once it is loaded, then what happens here? We can run it unit test dot test uh, uh, text test runner. Then after that, we are calling this particular here method. So with this method, what we do, we are testing this particular thing. We are loading the calculate by tax suit. So what will happen in such case, all the tests, whatever are written in this can be, uh, I mean, uh, they, they can be uh, running all test cases are actually here run. If it is any error in that case, it shows error. Now let us go to bike in this. In the 16.py, you have a class called version. There is something like version here, version 1.0 we expect. Okay. So this version oh. class you have here. So let us try to do in this something different. So here what I do, I can run another test case. Okay. So here I can write another test. Def. Write it as version test. <coughs> I want to define in this manner. It is going to be version test. <coughs> then here. I don't call any like uh, uh, self here. Okay, then what I do in this case, I just want to write here self dot assert equal. Not self, no self is required here. I can just go with the assert equal. Okay, self is required here. Without self, you cannot do. You need to go with the self here. Then in this case, what you do, you can write here self dot assert equal. Okay, self dot assert equal. Self assert equal. Uh, assert equal. That means uh, we assume that it's equal. Then in this case, what it's returning here in the 16 dot py, this is going to return like here version 1.0. Okay. This should give us version 1.0. Now come to this point, then try to here check it 17.py. Uh, so here we need to call first of all. What I take in this case, I'm going to call this bike dot. What it is exactly? Get version. So version I'm going to call in this case. Version. Then after that, I need to, this has to be getting returned here. Otherwise, what we do here? Uh, Incorrect or test failed message. You can put test failed. Okay, test failed. This is now when you run this here, two test cases are going to be running. So both are going to be success. Go, go to CMD. Then here in this case, go to G drive. This is Python samples. Okay, then here type dir command. Then try to run in this case. So what is this exactly? Which class this is 17.py? So we need to type here Python 17.py.
Okay, we write in this manner. So both the test case are succeeding in this case. Okay, what is happening? If you go with the 16 dot py, okay, 17 dot py. Okay, we are loading only one thing, one more thing also, we try to put comma, then one more thing we try to put in this case here. Okay, other one is what here? Version test. We go here with the version, test it is, we try to call even that. Okay, so it is same thing actually, in that only we have. So therefore this is wrong in such cases, uh, class class here it is right here test get version right here unit test dot test case we write in that manner. Then after that, so I want to uh, call this particular thing here. Okay, so here it is going to be like self dot assert equal. So put here in this case, then try to comment it here. Like this we can comment. So this is going to be self dot assert equal. It's not self actually. So whenever we have here self, And here, okay, uh, fine. So in this case, I can go here with the def version test. Okay, put here version test in this case, self dot assert equal bike dot version 1.0. So next one also, next also we try to add in this case here. Go okay. this way, try to add, then try to test it. What happens now, okay. see in such cases. So what it says in this case, it's saying here, load test from test case. <coughs> okay. Two arguments. Mm, one minute in this case, uh, what it's saying in this case, error, take two, positional, two positional arguments. But three were given, okay. Uh, but inputs are three, where are three actually, we don't have any three, just two only in this case. Get, test, get version. Uh, okay, so this is, uh, but this is calculate uh, bike tax suit. So it's complete suit we have created. Let, let, let us see one thing in this case, this is going to be dev get version self we have. Let us remove this, but this has to be running in that case. Okay, so yes, load, uh, load uh, uh, test get tax from test case. Uh, so where is that exactly? Load test from test case followed by test case. Uh, this test. is a bike it is. So automatically both the things must be working for us. When we run that, okay. So calculate bike tax suit it is. Now we are running. So when we run automatically both of they have to be working properly for us. Once again, yes, run sir. it. Okay, run one test in 0 0.00 seconds. Everything is success. So let, let me change now in this case. I want to put here version 2.0. What will happen now? Just see this. Okay. So what is happening in this case now? Uh, Python sample, Python 70.py, run one test in 0 0.00 seconds it's giving. Uh, but here it is expecting version 2.0. I'm calling bike.version. So this has to fail in such cases. Okay. Let, case me, case yeah. let me put it to 3500 in this case. What happens? Let us see. Okay, so try to run this here. What is happening in this case? This is failing here. First yes. test is failing actually. Second test is actually succeeding in this case. So run one test in 0 0.001 milliseconds failed. Equals equal to one it is saying. Okay, here also I try to, but this also should fail in that case. Because whenever you go yes. with the bike dot version. So if you go with the bike in the bike dot version, what do you have here? So bike dot version is going to be like version 1.0, it has to give us 1.0. Uh, so whenever you come into 17.py, uh, here it is, version test it is. 
So in the case of the version test, uh, what should happen in this case? Self dot assert equal bike dot version version 2.0 test build message we should get. Only the first one is actually working in such cases. If you go with the second one, this is not working for us. <coughs> okay, I have gone with the two test cases. One is what run test. Second thing is here version uh, control. Version control. Okay, what I do in this case, I try to put here same thing on the top. Okay, control C I put here. Then I want to put this one here, but this is going to be another test case. Okay, another test case. This is going to be just try to run this here. Okay, fail failure is equal to one. Uh, I want to make this as twenty five hundred. Then what will happen? Let me check in this case here. Okay, so now we get this as it's not equal to two point zero. It's not equal to 2.0. This is getting printed. Let me remove this here. And after that, try to run this. So what will happen? Let us see. Okay, it's running only one test. Uh, second test, it's not running actually. Version test, we have self.assert equal bike.version. Version, version 2.0 test failed. It should be working properly. So we have both in that case, load tests from test case. <clears throat> okay, this is what test get tax of bike. And in this case, what it is, it's loading calculate bike tax, uh, bike uh, tax so with the help of that, it has to work for us. So second is not working. What could be the reason? Mm, okay, self dot assert equal it is run test you have version test you have. Uh, so this has to work properly for us, but uh, it's not working. Mm, okay, it, at least it should say failed but one test is passing in that case it's yeah test is passing test one test is getting passed other test is not getting passed actually but you can write multiple methods in that okay yes. unit test dot test case this is def version test we have written yeah within a class we can write many i mean many cases test cases you can write methods. Hmm. we can but when i go with this, this is not working somehow self assert equal also we have written this should work Okay, run test I have. Okay, so one thing we do. This one also try to write run test. Okay, same message. Same name, we try to put here. So in such cases now, what happens we see? It one is fail. passing, no. uh, one test is failing, other one is succeeding in this case. Now let us go here with the 1.0. What will 1. happen? 0. Just see. We go with the 1.0. So here we try to see this. So all the tests are in this case failed. Failure equal to one. It is saying here, but which one is not showing here? Version 1.0, 2.0. I changed it, but we have changed it to 1.0. So why it is taking some time to run with that? Okay. Let me put here CLS. Then after that, let me test this. So it is succeeding in such cases. Okay, it's succeeding in this case. So you are not getting actually here. This one failed. But when you go with the 2.0, in such cases, it's failing. Failing. Okay, once again, let us run this. In such case, this is failing for us. It's expecting version 1.0, but we are getting it as 2.0 in such cases. Okay, it's giving us 2.0. So therefore, it is nothing but error in this case. Version 2.0 test failed. Here it is test failing. Now let us go with 1.0 and try to run this again. Okay, run here. Now see in this case, so one test case is successfully running. The tests are completely successful in this case. Under one class only, we have written these things. If you want to write any other test, that also can be written. For example, we write another test case in this case. So here, right, uh, we write in this case, this is going to be one equal to one. So you want, I want to write this as here, uh, like fail, uh, this is false. What it does see in this case. Okay, just try to run one test case should fail in this case. 
it's giving in this case. So one is equal to one, one cannot be equal to, true cannot be equal to false. So therefore, it is actually uh, failing in such cases. Failing. If you put here true, then it can work. Like this, you need to write the test cases. So test cases are going to be very important. Okay, you need to okay. do test cases. So they are going to be very, very important. Now try to run here. Now these are actually class based. Okay, these are all class based, but I want to go here with the function based. In the 17.py, what I do, I define a function, simple function I want to define here. It's nothing to do with the class kind of thing. So I want to define a function, own function I want to define here, function, then followed by here, like, uh, so here in this case, get remainder. I pass here a comma b. <coughs> okay, it should return us in the ending. I can put like this. You have to return here, return. It is going to be a percent b. I want to return in this manner. A percent b, I would like to return from this. Or else a mod b, I try to put in this case. We have given a comma b function this is going to be get remainder sorry it should not be function this should be def not function actually it's a def here then we need to return here return a percent then b we have to return this a percent b we have to do get remainder okay now we have to test this function this function we have to test then go to the 70.py and in this we first of all we need to import here, right from 16, you need to you need to call just a function from 16. Then right here, import. What do we import in this case? What is the name of the function? Get here remainder. We are calling that particular function. So in the 16, what is the name of the function here? Sorry, not in the 16. Where we have written? Not here. Okay, in the seventh, I think we have written. So let me cut this and try to put in the 16 here. What happens? See, we put in this manner, get mm, def get remainder and go to 17.py. So we have to import now. From 16, go here with the import, then write it as, uh, what do we write? Get in this case, remainder. So you can call a function like this. You are writing a function in a different file, that you are actually importing into current one. Follow this, Sanjana? Yes, sir. Okay, I am defining function in the 16.py. That function I am importing I'm... into the 17.py. 17. Yes, yes sir. so into this we are importing. Okay, then here what I do, I want to test it here. One more test case I would like to write here. Okay, def. Here it is going to be run test. Then write this as here, self. Then after that, put colon here. So now I would like to here find the result. Self dot, what a self, uh, sorry, it's, uh, yeah, self dot assert. Assert. Okay, so self dot assert equal. So here in this case, I would like to go with that, uh, get remainder function I'm trying to call. So for this, I'm going to pass values 10 comma, in this case, seven. What should be the remainder for me here? The remainder must be three for us and test success. Okay, we write in that manner, then try to run this now. Test is succeeding in such cases. Now, instead of here going with the three, let us try to put here two. What happens, see here. it is failing in this case because three is not equal to two. It is failing. So individual functions also you can test in this manner. So this is called as writing unit tests. You can write okay. unit tests, you can be testing them in that manner. So we have written in this case four test cases. Run test, in that case we are checking actually the brand, the tax. In the second case, we are getting the bike version comparing with the version 1.0. In the next case, what we are doing, just we are trying to check whether 1 equal to 1 or not. 
So if it is true, then test succeeds, otherwise it will not succeed. Whenever you go with assert equal here, get remainder 10 comma 7 followed by 2. In this case, this fails because when you divide 10 with 7, you get remainder as 3, it's not 2. So yes. like this here, we are writing test cases and we are running the load in this case. Load tests from test case. So from this, all the tests are loaded into the file, then they are running in this case. Runner equal to unit test dot uh, text test runner here, followed by runner dot run. It's calculating all this into a variable. We are setting all the things, then we are running this. So in this manner, we can write the unit tests. So unit tests are going to be very, very important. Okay. Sir, this is uh, called like manual testing, right? It's not manual testing. It is developer testing. Okay. Developer is going to test whether the code is working correct or not. Developer is testing in this case. Okay. For example, get reminder function you have written. Okay. So when uh, you write that, you, you can expect what result uh, you want to find in that. When 10 is divided with 7, what is the uh, result you get? 3 you have to get. But how three, much I have yes. written? 2 I have written. So therefore, yes. error. Like that, first of all, whether code is working correct or not, you can check them. If it's working fine, then you can integrate it in the rest oh, of the code. Okay. Okay, sir. So in that manner, you are going to use it. Okay. Okay. So this is called as test cases. In the Python using unit test framework, you can do it. Here we are importing unit tests. Then inside this, unit we are writing test. test cases in this manner. <coughs> okay. Okay, sir. So here, text test runner you have here. Apart from this, any other thing do we have? Let us see. Dot followed by... In this case, test load. No test loader is available here. So all this is fine here. Okay. So what was this exactly? Test only this is. Okay. Text test runner this is. Followed by in this case, we are running it. So this is going to run all these test cases, whatever we have written. So this is called as here unit test framework. With the help of that, you can unit test it. So like this, okay. whatever functions you write here, one more thing is what in the 16, we have written a function, independent function. It's not a class. Bike is a class, but this get reminder is a function here, independent function. Yes, sir. That function we are importing into 16. Similarly, bike also we are importing into 16. 16, yes. Okay, 16 is the 16.py. Into that, we are importing by class. Uh, similarly, we are importing in this case get remainder. Get remainder, where it is written in the 16.py, we yes. have written get remainder function. Get we are passing okay. two parameters A and B. So return A percent B in this case. That means it is returning here remainder for us. Okay, so in the 17.py, it is basically test cases. We are writing here all test cases and we are trying to run them. Okay, so here we are importing bike. Similarly, we are importing here get remainder. Both we are importing. Get remainder is an independent function. Bike is going to be a class. So, and here we are instantiating bike. Bike equal to bike followed by this is called as here constructor. It's a constructor. Then what we do here? Self dot assert equal bike dot get tax. 2500 is a tax. We can, when you calculate manually, you get 2500. You are comparing with that whether it's collecting correct tax or not. Based on that, uh, you can come to conclusion. So if it's not correct, then in that case, you can modify that. The function can be modified then when it works fine. In that case, you can integrate with the rest of the code. Correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so like this, you can write the unit test cases. So learning unit testing also, if you know, that would be good. If you okay. can unit test, then that is going to be really good. So you have to learn even the unit testing. Even in the Java, you need to do that. Not only here, even the Java, uh, you need to do uh, the unit testing kind of thing. Okay, sir. But Just Java kind of thing are outdated. Java, dot .NET, they are outdated technologies. Yeah, yes, sir. So, but if you go with the Python, go with the Go language, go with some uh, these things, actually, uh, there's going to be more career when compared with Java kind of thing. Java saturated, Java is very old. Okay, only legacy applications, they are using it. But new development, new applications, are, they are not getting around with Java. Because okay, today's uh, application development is different from yesterday's application development. 
So in SRD's application development, you you are right. I mean, at that time, missions are different. At that time, requirements are different. Now, the requirements have changed considerably. Yes, sir. Okay, so therefore, these days, people are not preferring Java language much. Even .NET also, they don't prefer much. Either Python or Go language, they prefer these days very much. Yes, sir, fastest. But if you take, if you see people who have experience, they say about Java only, learn Java, they say. Because yeah, they, Java. They, know, I... they only know Java and they don't want to learn anything new. So they want to continue with Java. That's the problem. Yes, sir. 